Hi guys and welcome back to another squad builder with myself Bates and 87. I'm going to continue the theme of the best possible squad builders and today's one is going to be a Mexico, Mexico team, Mexicana and stuff. Now there's only really going to be a few good players in there um, but it's nice to break up the week with a nice tidy team. Really quite affordable as well um, if you've got a like 700k maybe, <laughs> maybe a lot less actually. Um, but first things first, go and check out FIFA Coins Online for Ultimate Team Coin Needs. Their link is down below. So let's set up the parameters as well and also build it in a 3 5 2 because that's the best one I could see when we were trying to build a team on Twitter. So if you lot did build this team, thank you really much. So the goalkeeper to start off this team in net is going to be Ochoa. Och. Och. Ako. Ochao. Ochoa. Now I'm not good with names, you're not good with names. Well, you lot are really good with names because you can't keep uh, spelling how it's said which makes no sense but you do keep doing it now this keeper is really good uh, saved me a few times it's just a, a shame the defense let him down a lot so let's have a look at his stats because he felt quite small and he is six foot one 85 diving and uh, 85 reflexes them stats do definitely come into play and for 20k that's not bad it's just a shame he's in a shit league as well um, actually he's not even in a shit league is he? Is that Liga, uh. So yeah, he's not even that bad. Moving on up into the three centre-backs. In the middle, we're going to go with Ayala. On the right-hand side, we're going to go with Rodriguez. And then on the left-hand side, we're going to go with Inform Moreno. Now, uh, Moreno's not that bad. 72 pace. He's the fastest of them all. Well, out of the three anyway. He's got 71. And then the one on the right-hand side has 65. So if someone does notice how slow... He is, they will attack down that and it was caused, uh, well it did happen a few times over the uh, seven games we did play with this team. Moving on to the two CDMs, we're going to have Marquez on the right and on the left hand side we're going to have Salcedo. Now both of these players are quite tidy for the uh, non-rare prices as well. Uh, I'll tell you how much we did play, pay for them. Uh, 600 coins for him and we got him in a pack, very lucky to us. But yeah, very solid CDMs do hold back a lot. So when uh, you are attacking, you're not really going to get counter-attacked. But there is a problem with that, and I'll show you that as we move up the field. So on the left-hand side, we're going to go with... Hmm. Well, I'm not sure whether he's... He's actually the first in form, Guardado. There is a second in form who is a left-back. But if you wanted to put him in the team, you could. Because if you bash him at left wing back, put him in a 3-5-2, he will get full 9 chemistry. It may be seen as a glitch on the game. Even though it's been confirmed that he does actually get a full 9 chem uh, by footwiz.com. Uh, 84 rated if you wanted to be there. But us being uh, cool as fuck, decided to just put the normal card. Moving on to the right midfield, and this is the best player in the team. It's going to be team of the season, Carlos Vela. Now, originally when the game first came out, he was a striker. He was then moved to right midfield. Uh, got a different card. And uh, his team of the season version is also a right midfield. Now, he cost a lot when he came out. I'm not sure if that's a recent price he was purchased. Uh, 135k. So it is quite affordable, this team. Um, if you look at the prices, Guardado, 25k. Goalkeeper, 20k. And uh, Moreno was 15k, so quite, quite cheap, huh? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, well, it is affordable, yeah, yeah. Especially this late on in FIFA. Moving on to the cam position, we have Inform Sina. He is 68 pace. Now, the problem with this guy is that he moves. Well, he just sits in the centre mid spot. He doesn't, um, he doesn't move up a lot. And uh, with that, it causes Salcedo and also Marquez to move up the pitch, which is not good when you're going to get counter attacked especially with a lack of pace in the free centre backs so yeah don't recommend really getting him you probably could get someone um, a little bit better moving on to the two strikers the left hand side we're going to have Inform Hernandez um, yeah I'll talk about him later and then the striker on the right hand side is going to be Inform Peralta but if you wanted to mix things up and not get team of the season Carlos Vela you could have him at striker uh, probably replace uh, Peralta if you wanted you can pick him up for less than a K anyway. So parole up there. So that's the team built, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. What I'm going to do now, guys, is show up. Guys, guys, guys. We all love guys. I'm going to show you the highlights of the games in Division 1 and Division <coughs> 2. So I'll be back in a sec. So we're back, guys. And these are the goals we did score with the Mexican team in both Division 1 and Division 2. And to be honest, with this team, 
it was quite difficult to stay in Division 2. Uh, Math Denton and a few other players uh, did try to play with the team and found it quite hard, especially with the two centre-backs. The uh, pace on the right-hand side of the defence was quite slow, so when you've only got three at the back, I know I'm saying it a lot, but you do need pace when you've got three centre-backs, otherwise you're just going to get completely dicked. And you will have seen in a few previous squad builders of mine how much pace does uh, contradict the game, especially when you're rocking a 40 pace centre-back. There is a few squads which are going to be rocking them soon as well. Now with the left midfield, we could have had an upgrade with him. Uh, it's his second in-form left mid version, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but there is an 84 rated left back position, uh, one you can get of him. And if you wanted to, you could put him at left mid, play him at left wing back in the correct formation, and he would also get 9 chemistry. Now with in-form Hernandez, he was a bit of a letdown. As a sweaty player as he is, with just pace and a decent shot, you would expect a lot more. Um, but he was really weak, got pushed off the ball a hell of a lot. And to be honest, Peralta did show him up a lot. Now with the silver inform Cam, I honestly can't remember his name. He's a bit of a random player to put in the team. He did cause he caused a bit of uh, a bit of trouble with getting the attack going. Um, so the DMs did overextend themselves, pushing themselves up and causing a lot of trouble, especially getting counter-attacked as well. Now with the best player in the team, team of the season, Carlos Vela, um, he, he was a bit of a letdown as well. I'd much rather him be a striker, um, as he does have the bit of a Neymar effect going from striker to right midfield. So that is the team rundown, guys, the best possible Mexican team. I hope you have enjoyed it. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, comment, and check out FIFA Coins Online for your ultimate team coin needs. Until next time, guys, see you later.